Hey everybody, welcome to Bob and Kevin's Beer Reviews. I'm Kevin, this is Bob. Say hi, Bob. What's happening tonight? It is January 2nd. Uh, Happy Third. New Year. January 3rd. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Welcome back. It's, we were the, Over the holidays, we didn't do any beer shows. We were much too busy, but we did a lot of beer drinking and beer sampling. Right, we, we tried a lot of beer. Yeah. We just didn't really have time to do any shows. Shows. So, so we're backed up with some leftover holiday ales. Yeah. Yeah. So... It's, Speaking of which, mm -hmm. we, did we want to do ours first? What you know? What might as well? Might yeah. as well. Might as right. well. As, we know, actually brewed Jerry a beer. Jerry Garcia said, "Might as well." And we want to give it an honest review of our own beer that we brewed. It's a holiday ale, and uh, we, we there's we, only one bottle left. Th th this is the last bottle, so that'll give you a little bit of a preview of what we think of this beer. Yeah. But it seemed like everybody it. we gave it out to seemed to enjoy it. I didn't get any negative feedback. Um, I mean, the one guy who drinks Cause Light didn't like it. Right, which is... But I wasn't surprised. He wouldn't yeah. like any craft beer. So, uh, we bottled it in Bombers and 12 ounces. And tonight we have one of the Bombers. Yeah. And I didn't go get the, uh, bottle opener. All right, all right. So, so I'm going to take a break. All right. Bob's going to get the bottle. Hey, you want me to tell him about it? Yeah, tell him about it. All right. Me. Okay, so... What what this is? It's a uh, it's a holiday ale, and it, it's got caramel malts, chocolate malts, uh, and we also put some orange peel in it, um, some ginger, cinnamon, some nutmeg. So it, it's a holiday spice beer. Uh, it's an ale. It's not a super thick beer, but it's a dark beer. And uh, you know, we're, I'm going to give it here, and Bob's back, and we're going to give it an honest review tonight. So yeah, this, I mean, then we this is kind of probably something you shouldn't even do. Rate your own product, your own beer. I mean, I think so. If we give it an honest, but review, I mean, even a professional yeah. brewery must sit, sample their own product. You know? Yeah, we cork some of these. The reason why this has a cork is because. We underestimated on the amount of bottles that we had with, that took a cap. Is that why I thought we just yeah. wanted to put it in some big bottles? No, 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 no. We I like the big bottles. Yeah, it was kind of like a last minute. Oh shit, what are we gonna do? You know? So, I like the. Big well, yeah, bottles. I do too. Yeah, me too. I, yeah. I, 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 I think it was a good little move. little pop there. Yeah. I'll let Kevin pour. All right, I'm gonna pour first, and uh, I'm looking forward to. Pretty this excited because about this. We plowed through this beer. We should probably post this on like Homebrew Network. Yeah, we should. All right. Any home brewers so, out there watching this, if we ever get it posted on, right. feel free to comment. So, all right, I'll, I'll comment on mine. Um, it, it's got a nice head to it. Uh, it's not, oh, I think the carbonation is great on it. I'm holding up to the light. It, you know, it is a dark beer. Uh, it's got an amber color to it. It's unfiltered, you know, like most home brewers. Wow. Yeah. I think it's got a great aroma, great head yeah. for a home brew. This is awesome. Holiday spices. Holiday Obviously, spices. Obviously, we're being a little biased because we're, we're kind of proud of ourselves. So yeah. Let's I'm just going go in. in. That's delicious. It really is. It really is. We've actually, yeah. and we've obviously had this before. This is the last bottle out of five gallons of beer. So obviously, we liked it. Oh my god. Yeah. I, it forgot, is, I forgot how good it was. I haven't had yeah. it in like a week. It, it's really good. The only thing I'm going to say, because I'm going to try to give an honest review, is, and I think it's because it's, you know, it is a home brew, but to me, the only thing that I can actually say negative about this is there's a little bit of an off flavor in the background to me. You know what I mean? Like most people, I've actually mentioned it to people and they didn't know what I was talking about. No, I don't, I'm not getting no off flavors. Yeah, I got a little bit of an off flavor in the background. I'm getting sweet, balanced with the bitterness. Mm -hmm. It's Hop, not just too hoppy. hoppy. Just hoppy enough. Yep. And we dialed down the hop because we're not real big I think the alcohol, guys. we don't know what the alcohol is, but I'm thinking it's up there because I, I can kind of taste it in the finish. You, you definitely. Definitely yeah. has an alcohol I think taste it, to it. The alcohol is probably up between 7 or 8%. Yeah, I would say probably about 7% alcohol on this. I mean, it's good, though. It's not, nothing's overpowering to me. You know what I mean? I'm really confused because, I mean, I absolutely love this. I don't know how to throw a rating at it on a 1 to 10 month scale without being biased, you know? Right. Well, I know, I already know. I knew coming in here what I was going to rate this at, so. I should have gave it some thought because I don't know. Hmm. All right. I'm going to let Kevin okay. throw out his opinion first, Dad, why I think about this. 
All right. Okay. If <clears throat> I was judging this solely on the fact that this was our first craft beer brew, I would give it an 11. You know what I mean? I think we hit it out of the park, you yeah. know? For our first brew, yeah. we did. We really did. Yeah. But if I'm going to judge this against all the beers out there, you know what I mean? Being biased, mm. I'm going to give this a six. I really enjoy this. If I had this from somebody else, all right, and I didn't know it was our beer, I would really, really enjoy it. That's a good beer. way to think about it. And that's and that's the honest truth, and I'm That's a good way to, to think it. about yeah. it, to think if someone handed me this and said it was their home brew and I was going to give it an Or, or you didn't know. Somebody handed it to you, didn't even tell you what it was. Home well, brew. with no label, I'd probably yeah. ask. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, anyways. You made me lose my train of thought. That's all right, Bob. <laughs> it's okay to lose your train of thought. I was on a roll. Yeah, yeah, he was on a roll. Uh, Having uh, said that, I was, I'm going to come in at a five. Yeah, there you, know, you go. Good. A solid five. I think those are honest answers. Yep. You know what I mean? So, so everybody out there, get out there, brew your own beer, check yeah. it out. It's a fun hobby. Maybe lead to more than a hobby. And it tastes great. And they're great to give us gifts, too. All right. So, so. why don't we um, put a cork on this? We're going to save this one for later. All right? Yeah, we're going to finish this later because we got a lot of beers to try today. we got a lot of beers. We're, gonna, we're doing one show today. We're not splitting them up. We're just going to keep on rolling. We screw up, we're keeping on rolling. Yeah. Um, so hey, so we're going to stick with the holiday ones. Yeah. Tonight. Let's do the let's do the the Sam Adams the holiday porter. I think okay. It is. Tonight's second choice was brought to us by Kevin. It's Sam Adams holiday porter. I'm pretty sure this has been out several years yeah. now around Christmas time. It's five point percent alcohol by volume. Sam Adams holiday porter is a full flavored porter. Inspired by the famous drink of London's Victorian era luggage port is brewed with generous portions of caramel, Munich, and chocolate malt. This hearty porter finishes with traditional English fuggles and East Kent Goldings. Cheers. Hmm. Sounds a little bit similar to uh, what was it they had out the old Fezziwig Ale, which I didn't see this year. I did. I had it. Oh, Kevin. Kevin found some. Right. I don't know what, what happened because I thought there were two in the package and maybe I drank two. I, 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 I don't know. Yeah, one, 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 one kind of disappeared. Yep. But I felt this one, because I had this one too, and I felt this one compared to the old Fezziwig. The old Fezziwig was a lot more hoppy. And I enjoyed this one a little bit better. But mm -hmm. another reason why I wanted to try this one tonight is I felt this one was... And as far as taste went, our homebrew, this was pretty close to as far as that went. So I wanted to put it side by side. I mean, in it, it looks so far like, you know. Like a porter. A yeah. Typical porter. Nice creamy head. Yeah. Nice dark color. Going in for the smell. Nothing. Yeah, no, not a strong, no, really, not a strong smell. Not much aroma at all. I can't, I can't. No. Nothing. No. No. So, all right. Well, that's, 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 that's yeah. disappointing considering everything they said that was in there. All right, I'm going in. All right, let's go in for the taste since we can't get a smell. Not bad. See, it was better the first time. It's it, you're right. It's not it's, bad. I mean, we've had a lot of porters. I, I like yeah. a porter. It's a it's, um, it's a porter. Yeah. You know, it's not. No, it's not. It's it's just an average porter. Yeah, it's what it is. Yeah. yeah. The first time I had it, it was much better. I got to be honest with you. Yeah. I don't know. It's definitely a craft beer. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Of course. Um, it is. But it's just it's just an average porter. It's a porter. It's good. Mm. You know. That's it. I'm I did learn something. Today, if this is it. true. I, I didn't know about the porter style being named for the guys that carried your uh, bags. I wonder if that's true. Inspired by the famous drink of London's Victorian era luggage porters. Mm. Those were the guys that would carry your luggage from the car to the hotel or I whatever. Don't, I don't know. I don't think that is. They, they didn't call them porters. Yeah, we should research it. Did you know that the, the porter actually was the first mass produced style of beer? No, that was like at the, know at the time that was the beer of choice it was a it was a porter mm -hmm. and they they started mass producing those wow. first yep. right. to keep the porters happy they had to carry all the heavy luggage and stuff so you know they yeah. needed a good stiff drink here and there 
And I did know the difference between a stout and a porter, and I totally forgot. There's not much of a difference, really. Mm. I just finished mine. I'm ready to read this Samuel Adams Holiday Porter. It's an average porter. It's not above average. It's not below average. It's average. Therefore, I'm coming in at a solid five. Yeah. You know, I think, gonna, I think I'm going to do that, too, because I came in in a six with ours, and I like ours better. Oh, definitely. You know, I really do. Uh, I, I came in at a yeah. five on ours, too, but I definitely like ours. But ours had a way more flavor and smell. This had no smell. Yeah. Nothing. None of the ingredients stood out amongst the others, but a good, solid, drinkable beer. Yeah, solid beers. Sam Adams, they, yeah. you know what I mean? They, 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 they make solid beers, period. But um, it, it, yeah. it was good. That was it, you know? What did you so, give it? Uh, I gave it a five as well. It's a tie. Yep. So, yeah, it's a tie. All right. All right. We're so, right yeah. along tonight's next selection up on Bob and Kevin's Beer Reviews is going to be, let me reach into the magic cooler here and pull out, I've been wanting to try this for a while. Right, We've right. been sitting on this, like we said, we got backed up over the holidays and did a lot of drinking around the holidays, so it's good to be back. This is from the Anchor Brewing Company. It's a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year 2015 Ale is what they're calling it. Uh, special ale brewed with spices with natural flavors added. Brewed by Anchor Brewing, San Francisco, California. This is the 41st annual. <laughs> this yeah, is yeah, the 41st yeah. annual our special ale from the brewers at Anchor. It it's like a time rest. It is sold it's only, it's only it's from early November to mid January. The ale's recipe is different every year as the tree on the label, but the internet. But with the intent with which we offer it, the internet <laughs> remains the same. Joy and celebration of the newness of life. Since ancient times, trees have symbolized the winter solstice when the earth with its seasons appears born anew. Okay, everyone. That was a bit tricky to read right. the way they printed that. Yeah. All right. There, there was actually heavy marketing on this on, on was Facebook. There? And that's why I found it. And that's how I kind of... What's the alcohol on this? Get it. 5.5. Uh, uh, yeah. And uh, there was a lot of... It's milk. not a twist off. Nope. Which most craft beers on, which we like. Which next time I'll get an open it down. And I like the fact that they've been making this for 41 years, and every year they make it different. Yeah. It's always yeah. different. So I it's like not like too. the same beer. And they got a track record so, for 41 yeah. years, you know? So I've already had this. I'm not going to tell you what I think of it. Um, but... There you go. It's a dark ale. Yeah, it is dark. It looks dark. It's a dark like ale. It, uh, yeah. Looks kind of like our Christmas ale. I mean, our holiday ale. Yeah. Ooh, look at this. There we go. Wow. Yeah, that looks it's, great. For yeah, us. it's it's black. It's you cannot look at the head see on. that in the light at all. It's wow, like a Guinness. It's black. It's as it, black yeah. as a Guinness. Black as night. Let's go in for a sniff. Oh, I got some up my nose. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> not not a sniff. Not not a, not. A, I I didn't mean that. Literally, I just meant like I heard if you smell it beer, you yeah. get drunk quicker. Right, right, yeah, that, yeah. Uh, that that's gonna be our new show, uh, beer snoring one hundred and one. A lot of holiday spices in here. Yeah, chocolate, ginger, yep. cinnamon, cinnamon, clove. Yep, yep. I mean, Cheers. Let's, let's, go let's, in. let's go in. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Hmm. That's delicious. That is delicious. It's really good. Really good. It's dark, but you know what? Wasn't it surprisingly light? Smooth, too. Yeah. Not yeah, too hot. Smooth, no, no. And it, a subtle sweetness. Mm -hmm. Not overly sweet, just subtly sweet. It was nice because, like, just letting it linger in your mouth a little bit, warming up a little bit, and getting those spices. And then you swallow it, and then you get that, that bitterness, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. It's really good. I'm, fi I'm glad we finally got to try it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You know? I'm just slowing down a little bit. I, yeah, I know. I know. We're kind of plowing through these. <laughs> we're just some heavy, oh, yeah. Every once yeah. in a dock yeah. that we've opened. Yeah, we, we're kind of going, we are yeah. kind of going fast. Yeah, all of a sudden we're like, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> you blew it. <laughs> you blew it. 
All right, so why we're sipping this beer, because it is a sipping beer, you know what I mean? Let's slow down and enjoy this a little bit. So, all the beers we tried tonight have really been sipping beers. Yeah. And we're kind of plowing through them. Yep. So we'll slow down a bit. Yeah, so Anchor, all right, um, you know, they've been around for a, a long time, and, and they're really, I'm really starting to see a heavy presence. Of Anchor Brewing, yeah. In, in this area, and they always have this bottle. That size, that yeah, shape. Yeah, yeah. At least that's what I heard. I kind of, you know what? Don't quote me on that, but that's what I heard. I heard that it's always in this. They they called it. I read some article like briefed it. They uh, it's always in that bottle like that, and it's twelve ounces, so it's deceiving. Oh, yeah. And it doesn't look like less than twelve ounces, but it's actually twelve ounces. It's just ounces. the shape. Yeah, it's the shape. You can fit twelve ounces Ooh. in a square bottle Ooh. if they made such a thing. When we get our brewery up and going, just to be different and difficult. Yeah. Actually, maybe they'll save save shelf space. We figure out a square bottle. Ooh. That stacks easy in the warehouse and stacks easy in the liquor store. Because shelf space is very important and we'd be unique. That would be fantastic. Yeah. yeah except I just wow. told everybody. Right, 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 right. Maybe we'll just edit this. We'll part. edit that out. Yeah. We're trying not to edit because yeah. I am seriously backed up 100, at least 100 shows. And I, I have good intentions, but I am not really the best editor, I guess. So, Maybe we could get someone to do it. That's what I'm thinking. What about that woman that works for you? Mm. Is she any good at that? I don't know. I don't know. She's great, but you know, I don't know if that's this is her thing. But um, we need somebody with multimedia skills. Yeah. So, but we're gonna go I'll this route. Around. No, but like what I'm saying is, let's go this route where we're just gonna film it and just air it. You know, yeah, this is otherwise Bob and Kevin's beer reviews raw, unfiltered, unfiltered. Yes, I unfiltered, yeah. unpasteurized. Yeah, yeah. Like, unfiltered. Yeah, like uh, White Birch Brewery. Mm -hmm. This yeah, guy's going to my head. Yeah, yeah. This is. Um, I mean, you, you just love the sound of the toilet flushing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Unfiltered, <laughs> unfiltered. <laughs> yes. Nice, nice. Hey, you know, when you do your show from your mom's basement, what do you expect? Right, right. Bobby! <laughs> Bobby! Are you and your friend done playing down there? I hope you're not in your underwear. His mother, is his mother picking him up? Yeah, I'm done. I'm Bobby done. drives himself. He's 47 years old. 45. 45? 45. 45, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, we're getting a little silly. Yeah, yeah we are getting silly. But that's all right. That's cool. We can get silly. We what? Just our third year. All right. Back to reality. Back to the show. Anchor Brewing Company's Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, 2015 Ale. Bob Zuliga just drank it right here live on this show, and I'm gonna give this a six out of ten mugs. Nice, nice, nice. What I'm, do you think, Kevin? I'm giving it a seven. A get seven. Out, yeah, I'm giving it a seven out of yeah. ten mugs. Get out there, drink yeah. some beer. This might be gone from the shelves, but no one now this time. Yeah. Some of your liquor stores, they'll discount down to five dollars a yeah, six so pack. You know what? It's actually it's out of season. Right. It's actually sometimes a good idea to get it off season because I've snagged some really nice bargains. You they know? had all the pumpkin ales at Kingston Liquor Mart the other day for five dollars a six pack. Yeah, all kinds, not just like uh, pumpkin head. Right. Not just cool. shipyard is what I'm trying to say. They had all the right. pumpkin brews for five bucks. Right. Now we're all gassy in the discount section. Cool. Cool. All right. All right. So what are we doing? Uh, so how many? We, we've done three thus far. we got to do this one. Yeah. We, yeah, one. we have to do this one. It's only 12 yeah. ounces. I mean, what the heck? Yeah. It's only 12 ounces. Right. It's, right. It's only 12 more ounces. It's actually six. We're only doing six yeah, ounces yeah, a six piece. Yeah. I mean, my belly's already doing roller coasters, but it's okay. Right, right, we right. Got right. Yeah, we do this for you. Yeah. We, yeah. Get, we get snacks. Okay. This is... Um, we should brought some snacks. This is the 21st Amendment Brewery, which I have never had. It's never been on this show, the 21st Amendment Brewery. Ooh. I've never even heard of the 21st Amendment Brewery. It is their seasonal release called Fireside Chat. It is a winter spiced ale with 45 IBUs. This is a little on the buys that until I just took a glimpse of the can and I was like seven point. Wicked cool so. can. There's an old man smoking one of them long cigarette things yeah. in his lounge chair drinking from a glass with a with nobody. No, there's like an elf or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On He's the talking chair, to an elf. Yeah. Looking at the fire. Yeah. It's a beautiful label. 
Yeah. Where is the 21st Amendment Brewery located? Uh, you know, I don't know, but you know what the 21st it Amendment is. It says San is. Francisco, California. Do you know what the 20 you know what the 21st Amendment is, right? That was the the prohibition, prohibition. The, the the release of whatever prohibition yeah. made beer legal. It was the uh retraction of the Yes. Of yes. The retraction of prohibition. Yes. Yeah. So okay, let's same get into it. type of beer. We've been drink. We're kind of on like a theme tonight. This yeah. one's not a stock. It's more yeah. golden reddish. Yeah, and this was actually recommended to me. I mean, from, that last one was black. From yeah, oh, that's like an amp, dark amber, dark amber color, amber yeah. colored ale. Yep. Yeah. Now this was actually I bought a six pack of this, and this is the last one I have. And this was recommended to me. You might have got a little uh, more. Uh, I did. That's all uh, right. You know, oh, no. no see that? See, I paid the price. It's all excited like that. Sorry, I won't even tell you what that tasted like. We'll just kind of pretend that never happened. What happened? Nothing happened. I didn't think so. All right, so amber color. Let's go in for the smell. Great smell. I mean, spice. Really. At least spicy. First thing that's hit me is cinnamon. And I'm getting a nice hop aroma. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Yep. So all, all your usual suspects in, in the holiday, and everything's nice. nice. Yeah. So, you ready to go in for a fireside chat? Yeah, fireside chat. Not with that cre That's the man on the label. He might be a little creepy to be sitting by the fire with, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He's a little pedophilish. It's really good. It is good, but it is hoppy. It finishes. Yeah. Finishes dry and kind of hoppy. Yeah. Yeah. A little hoppy for me. We're going to have to think of something to talk about. They're going to have to, we're talking about it. They're going to have to dial down the hops on this. Yeah. Yeah. They got the hops at 45 IBUs. Me and Kevin seem to like a, the highest, what do you like, about 20 or 12? You said 12 before, didn't you? I like a 12 or like actually, like a 30 is kind of like I, I seem to figure out is my. Nice. Yeah, that's my sweet yeah. spot. I, I, we, we're just not hobby guys. We say it every show. Yeah, we're, we're, we're just not, not on IPAs and you know the the, the place where hopped beers. Yeah, the place where him and I go out and hang out. Um, they do have that know, captain's they, daughter. I like. Yeah, but you know, I can only drink one or two though. Kim had me try two different IPAs, and I, you know, what I mean, they were they were good, fresh, crisp, but that freaking back. You know what I mean? The, the taste in the back of your mouth, it, it, I just don't like it. Yeah, I'm getting that right now. And you know what? And this I don't think we're alone. You know? This is finishing dry for me. Mm. It's got the color. It's got the aroma. It's got the taste. For me, if they would have just dialed it down a little bit. It on the hops, like, yeah. Mm. To me, I think the, the spices are getting lost in the hops. They're yeah, taking right. a back seat yeah. to the hops. Yeah. Like almost, yeah. In this type of beer... It might have been inappropriate to hop it. To hop, yeah, to put that many hops. Because you're right. It's it the does first kinda, Christmas yeah. sale we've tried this season that was on the hoppy side. Most of them, the None spices. Of them hoppy. Yeah, yeah the right. spices yeah. come through the most, you know, in the holiday cheer. Like like, like you want to have. <coughs> you yeah, know, chestnuts chocolate. and all that, roasting by your open fire, and Jack mm -hmm. Frost nipping at your nose, and blah, 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 blah. blah, blah. blah. Yeah. We just don't like hoppy bits. Yeah. But I'm gonna drink it. Yeah, we are gonna drink it. Oh, you drank it. I drank it. All right. I'm gonna rate my fireside chat by what brewery was this? Twenty first. Twenty first Amendment yeah. Brewery, out of San Francisco, Ooh. California. Oh, wait, seven wait, point. Wait, 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 the alcohol's up there too. Seven point nine. First time brewery. First time Ooh. brewery. You know, we gotta do a celebration, yeah. Celebration. First time brewery. A little too hoppy for me. I'm coming in with a four. Four? Wow. Four mugs on this beer. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder if it's because it's our fourth holiday ale. You came in at a four. It is hoppy. I'm coming in at a six. And the reason why I'm coming in at a six is if I liked hoppy beers, this would be delicious. Yeah. You know what I mean? This is really good. If that's your thing. If it wasn't as hoppy, I think this might have been my favorite out of the holiday beers that we had. Because this is really good. Mm. So. You're digging it. I'm digging it. It's a six. Yep. And I'm living with it. All right. All 
right. I think we're going to do one more tonight. Yeah, let's this do next one more. One, and then this next one's a big wow. one. So we're probably not going to finish the bottle. We're going to take it out to the shed. Right. I think so. Yeah. Because this is the arrogant bastard one. Yeah. 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 Is that a heavy hot? Ha -ha? No. It, 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 I've had arrogant bastard. Again, I got this as a Christmas present, everybody. Yeah. From my uh, brother in law, Chris. And I've seen this in the store for years. Just some reason never grabbed it. I don't know why. I mean, it's an attractive bottle. It's calling your name. You, do you it's know a it's a hoppy? You know it's a hoppy beer, right? No, I don't. I'm it learning. is. It's right a hoppy now, beer. Yeah. Okay, this is hoppy. Yeah, I've had it. It's a beautiful painted label, everybody. Like they spent some money on this. Eric and Bastard Ale. You're not worthy. Seven point two percent alcohol. Um, I'm just misunderstood by the unworthy Satan on the back. You got Satan on the front. It's. The name of the brewery is Arrogant Bastard right Brewery. There. Did you know that? No. That's the actual name of the brewery. Wow. Arrogant Bastard Brewery. Because I read that over here. I wonder if the guy that owned it. bottled by Arrogant, Arrogant Bastard Brewing Company, Escondo, San Diego County, California. We have drinking a lot of beers from California tonight. Three, right? Three straight. Yeah, yeah three. the last, last three. three. Yeah. yeah. And then Boston. And then West Greenwich. Yeah. So what's this, our sixth beer? No, this is five. Five. We say we're going to do five. We're going to do five. And wow. Because we're chugga lugging them. Like, what time is it? Oh, we got to put this on the beer thing in the shed. For those of you who remember the shed shows, which may or may not come back, come sometime. Well, we'll do we a shed the show. Uh, we have the magnet over the shed show. Yeah, they have the magnet up, up there. Under their cap, they got their Facebook and Twitter account thing there. That's a good idea. All right, so why don't you pour yours first? Since um, it's not good, this is not good. It's a square can. Right, 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 right. No, hold on. Well, the contact? The people that make spam. Yes, yes, yes. I thought it was a square bottle. It's a square can now? Well, we have metals of can. Yeah. If it's a square glass, you know, you, like, you could probably make square glass. It'd be kind of awkward to hold it in your hand. Huh? Oh, yeah, that's the dilemma. It stacks nice in shelf space, but how do you hold a square can? Drink from the uh, we have, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we've got a problem. A bit of a stumble there. <laughs> it's a, just a bit of a stumble. It's hard to get. Yeah, Bob had this ingenious job. idea Bob of coming up with can. a square can, but for shelf space. For shelf space, but now we're thinking: is it going to be comfortable to hold? Yeah, I didn't think this yeah, through. The comfortability of yeah. holding it and drinking it and, it and getting that last drop out is probably not going to work out. Otherwise, somebody would have done it for shelf space. Right, right. Yeah. So we'll, we'll, so we'll work on that. We'll get back to you. It. It's one can thought idea. at yeah. a time. All right. So let's let's take a look at this arrogant bastard. All right. I mean, it is a golden amber color. Yep. Golden amber. Yeah. It's nice looking. Yeah. It is. I like it. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's great. Yep. I can tell I like it's it. kind of on the hoppy side. This yeah. did not give us yeah. the IBUs. We wish all beers gave us the IBUs. I think that should be a law. We should start a petition online. To get beer companies, beer breweries, craft breweries to not only list the alcohol but the IBUs. Because one time we spent $22 on a bottle and it was 85 IBUs. Hey, look, on we the, couldn't drink it. On the side of the bottle, it was uh, drink fresh. Drink fresh. But it was also like the freaking alcohol was, that was way up there in alcohol. Oh, yeah, it was way up. It was like, I, I want to say up. approaching like 20%. Did you see that picture I posted of Richard Christie drinking the uh, $700 bottle? Yeah, I replied. I said, I'm sorry. You, you were like, when are you coming over? And you showed me the picture. I said, I'm going to puke. I, as soon as I'm done puking, he drank it out of a dead squirrel. Out of a dead squirrel. Yeah. Richard Christie from the Howard Stern Show. And Howard will be back tomorrow, thank God. Five more years. He'll be back tomorrow. Hasn't been on in two weeks, and I'm probably here about Richard Christie drinking that seven hundred dollar bottle of beer out of a dead squirrel. I'm sure how it'll bring that yeah, up. I, I personally I don't really want to talk about it. All right, let's go. Oh, that's gonna be great. Kevin, if you looked closely at the picture, there was a bottle inside the dead squirrel. Right, right, right. I wasn't like that. the yeah. yeah, the bear wasn't yeah. in the touching the tissue. Squirrel. Yeah. But no, still, you, yeah, 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 it's kind of gross. Yeah, it's kind of gross. Oof. Yeah. I think Kyle, the, uh, my brother in law, I think my wife said this was his favorite beer. I mean, I think it's a very popular beer. You mind if I see what it's. 
I want to see what it's getting on. Um, yeah, it's, it's just not on here, oh. you know? Yeah, I knew it was going to be like this, too. Uh, let's see. I don't, <laughs> I don't think it's that bad. <laughs> wait a minute, doesn't your... Wow. Brother, wait a minute, doesn't This your, is way too happy for me. <laughs> doesn't your brother-in-law watch the show? What show? Our beer show? Yeah. You, you probably, like, maybe we, like... Hey, Chris, I'm sorry. It's just a little on a hoppy side for me, yeah, buddy. You know, but it's a thought that counts, Chris, all right? Oh, yeah, Merry Christmas. Yeah. And, yeah. You know, and He's the one last year gave, it, us right? the, yeah. gave us the American Beauty last year hmm. that we started the show with. See, this is exactly what I thought was going to happen. No, it is. Uh, look, I'm a look, sour look, beer wait, guy. This is just way too Beer guessing. Advocate gave it a 93. 93. Outstanding. Outstanding, Did right. You, whoa, I went to IBUs. We were, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, like, see, uh, most, that's what I thought, like, you know what I mean? Like, most people, um, doesn't give it. 7.2, yeah. Yeah, nope, no IBUs. Hmm. Hmm, yeah. Yeah, like, as I, as I knew, most people are gonna be like, oh, this beer's great, it's just not our, we're sour guys, really. Mm. Let's face it, you know? Yep. We're sour, the, the, every beer that we've given a 10 thus far has been, been a, a sour, sour beer, you know? Yep. So, Which is a niche yeah. category. There's not a lot of us out there like it. Although I'm trying to spread right. the word. Right, and then, then the beer that everybody seems to like, mm, we're just not really fond of. Yeah. So, and that's the way it goes. Yeah. We'll just be the underdogs. Absolutely. So, I hope everyone's enjoyed tonight's edition of Bob and Kevin Spear Reviews for the first of uh, January here. The first show of the year. We're starting off. This is our fifth beer of the evening. So, if we seem a little silly or tipsy, it's because we've been drinking a lot of beer. Yeah. And not just... We've been drinking all night long. This ain't no Bud Light show, you know what I'm saying? Right, 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 exactly. We've been drinking some heavy... I'm beers. not a fan of this. It's a little too hoppy for me. I'm going to come in with Bob and Kevin's review of a four... Yeah, four mugs up for me on this one. If you're a hop lover, you'd probably love this and give it a ten. Absolutely, I, I think you know. I'm gonna just skate right in with that, all right? For a hop skate. lover, probably a ten all day. For me, mm, it's only worth a five. Okay, that's it. That wraps it. That's Kevin with a five, Bob with a four on Arrogant Bastard Brewery out of California, Arrogant Bastard Ale. Get out there and drink some beer. Expand we will your beer see horizons. you next time. Hopefully next week. Yeah, because we got to get back on the trail there. Because right. as the seasons progress, the beers just keep coming. I mean, there's so many we try out there. We've probably tried over 200 now easily. Oh, yeah, easy, 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 easy. easy. Yeah. Not, I mean, that don't count the ones we didn't try yeah. on the show. Speaking of which, we tried... Um, Newport Storm Brewery out of uh, Newport, Rhode Island. We tried their inferiority complex, which was a sour. We were real excited knowing it was a sour. It came in a growler style yeah. bottle. And um, it was aged for one year. And I'm sorry, they missed it. They blew yeah, it. Yeah, the reason why we're talking about it now is because we're not going to be getting that again. It was, they just, that was, the, it was really, really bad. Was, yeah, we didn't like yeah. it. Yeah. All right, so what would we you love have rated sours. What would you have rated that? A three? Yeah, I was two. I'm going to say two because that was the yeah. first thing that came to my mind. I don't I know if two. they, they really didn't. Bad. They, didn't yeah. they missed the idea of a traditional sour beer. They just didn't hit it. And they missed on that bacon one. That bacon one was terrible. Yep, the bacon you know one I mean? was bad. Yeah. We actually haven't been a real fan of any much no. Newport Storm. No, and that's too bad because it's a local brewery. Yeah, we could, and we could literally get in the car right now and drive there in about 35 minutes. Right, and we are super biased against local breweries, and we just can't do it, you know? So, mm. um, all right, so let's wrap this show up. Uh, can I wrap it up with a few quick words about Gansett that was in the paper the other day? Absolutely, man. Go for it. There was a nice uh, story in the Province Journal's food section on Wednesday about Narragansett Brewery. And how since they were taken over by the founder of Nantucket Nectars, he's grown the brewery. And it was it, the story was because it was the 125th anniversary, which was the party was held Saturday night at Lubo's in Providence. But um, they talked to him and they interviewed him about the future of Narragansett. And he said in 2016, he 
pretty damn sure they're going to announce finally that they're bringing it back here. They're going to brew it here. They're going to build a brewery here. Here is Rhode Island. Here is Rhode Island, yep. Yeah. It's right. currently in Rochester, New York. He said they sales are booming. In New York City, the regular Narragansett Lager in New York City is like the number one selling beer at the moment. Really? Yep. That is so interesting. Yeah, it was in the paper. Yep. They're booming in New York City. It's booming in Rochester, New York, and they're expanding, shipping it farther and farther, and they cracked... I forget how many barrels this year. Like, there's milestones in brewing if you'd sell so many barrels of yeah. beer. They cracked that milestone. And they did that. He took it over 10 years ago. It's been, only been 10 years yeah. since he put it back in the bottles and launched, relaunched it. And there's two more beers coming out in the HP Lovecraft series. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, we've yeah. had them all so far. Yeah. Yeah. And they've won awards with those, it said. Yeah. The HP Lovecraft series. So hats off to Gansett. I'm yeah. looking forward to 2016 and uh, an announcement that they're bringing it back. Yeah, Bob is a Gansett guy, and we will continue to uh, bring uh, any news Gansett. Any news Gansett, you know, yeah. support the local guys. Right. 125 years of history in the state. They even mentioned in the story the fact that people insist it was the situate reservoir water that made it good. Yeah. And they also talked about how when it was sold to Falstaff, they changed the recipe. It wouldn't. Hey, Bobby. He got it back. Hey, Bobby. He got the original recipe back. I am thinking it's about time to land this plane. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, I landed the plane. All right. We're going to wrap it up. All right. We'll talk about that later. I just feel it's, you know. Oh, yeah. All right. So, but before we do, we're Bob and I are working on a new beer, Winter oh, yeah. Recess. And it's, it's it's fermenting right now. It is fermenting right now. We can't wait to try it. Yep. It is a um. It, it's got a lot of spring flavors and some winter flavors in it. So we're we're excited. We're hoping it's going to be just a little winter recess before we start getting into some more heavy beers. Well, come summer, we'll probably brew a summer ale. Absolutely, we will. Yeah. All right. So all right, we look forward to everybody having fun in yeah. 2016 and. Happy trails. Happy trails. Happy drinking.